Now remember, kids, don't do drugs. Welcome back to the Portable Podcast. You're watching the Sly Guy, the Sly Guy, the Sly Guy. That Leo was a drug addict. And it's a good thing that um, Carl didn't give him any money. Yeah, I can't wait to beat them up in the later episodes. <laughs> go 2038 which is uh, 17 years from now and we now have officer Jaden there's officer Jaden no androids allowed that there's a picture of a dog <laughs> how weird no android dogs allowed Now I can see him. I know where he is. Shit, I thought androids weren't allowed here. What's your problem? Yep, here you are, Hank. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. Just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. I understand that some people are not the comfortable, comfortable in the presence, the presence of androids, of androids. but I, I am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. Listen, I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Wow, nice. <laughs> Bartender, the same again, please. Same again, please. See that gym, wonders of technology. Make it a double. Wonders of technology. See, that'll uh, help him warm up to his partner. You, you say homicide. Happier now? <laughs> All I have to do is get you drunk. <laughs> and then you're gonna do your job. Oh man, check out the graphics. These graphics are even better than Heavy Rain. It's a Jomasai. With a drunk cop. And his android buddy. You wait here. Won't be wrong. My instructions are to accompany you to the crime scene, Lieutenant. Listen, I don't give a fuck about your instructions. I told you to wait here, so you shut the fuck up and you wait here. Okay. I'll be a good android. Josh Douglas for Channel nah, 15. Nah, let's not. You confirm that this is a homicide. I'm not Let's make this episode anything. of fun. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me! What part of staying in the car didn't you understand? Your order uh, stay part. my instructions, <laughs> You don't talk, the you car don't touch anything, is, you stay out of my I don't way. understand it? what a Go. car is. Even at Hank, we were starting to think you weren't going to show. Yeah, that was the plan until this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, DeVito. huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We had a call around 8 from the landlord. Tell him he hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by. He's coming on. And he 
here we go. That's when he found the body. Change of camera. Jesus, that smell. Oh, this is even the worse creepy before part. we open the windows. The android the victim's company. name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. So According I to guess the he deserves to be kind killed. of a loner. He stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, stayed easy. And wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break-in? Huh. Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The you should so stop doing that. Problem. That's disgusting. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I I'll be outside if you need me. Androids hiding in the attic. Let's see. Where did you go? Okay. Ah. Also, Carlos Ortiz. Oh, Karate Man. Why Vivian took a knife. Oh no! Vivian was attacked. Ah, so it was his fault. Androids won't attack you unless you attack them. Get a knife. Pshoom. Goodbye, Mr. Ortiz. Good day to you, sir. Each letter is perfect. It's way too neat. No human rights like so this. So the android was provoked. Chris, was this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Red ice. Seems our friend Carlos liked the party. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Hmm. Let's see this. Yep, he's been doing drugs. Just like uh, Carl's son, Leo. Hey, Mike, you finished taking samples there? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, let's see what he's been doing. Oh, I've been taking good drinks. Wait, 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 wait.